guys, it's Megan. Happy Thanksgiving. I am just so excited to see you guys today because I'm obviously so thankful for all of you. And I thought that it would be really fun to do a get ready with me because I love doing my makeup every Thanksgiving to do like really warm autumnal colors and I'm wearing one of my favorite like plaid autumn shirts and Thanksgiving is my absolute number one favorite holiday so I'm just so excited and I am so exhausted like crazy exhausted like are you ever so exhausted you feel hungover even though like no alcohol has entered your system for like a million years that is how I feel so if I'm like, that's why, <laughs> but I'll try to be chipper for you guys. Um, so it's the morning of Thanksgiving and my mom is doing some prep and then after I finish up my makeup, I'll go down and help with all the other things that need to be done before our family comes. We always have Thanksgiving at our house, which I really like. We do Christmas at our both of our grandparents' houses, and this holiday is kind of our special holiday to host, and that's probably part of the reason I really, really like it, because I, first of all, I love having all the leftovers, <laughs> so when everyone leaves, they all, like, most of the leftovers stay with us, and I love having, like, I love being in my own space. I, I'm a super big homebody, and so I, I just love that, and Having all my family over is so awesome because we we get together like my dad's side or like my mom's side but never, not really, like all of us all together and so I really really love that. And my aunt, uncle, and cousins from Maryland are, they always come um, to back to their hometown which is here and they spend the day with my uncle's family and then after dinner they come and have like pie and stuff with us so it's gonna be really nice to see them I haven't seen them in so long and I used to see them like every week when I was in college so it's gonna be great to see them again I really really miss them but um yeah, so I don't really know what I'm going to do with my makeup. I have so many different things in front of me that I'm excited to use, but I don't really know what, like, I'm actually going to do. I am super excited about these two um, J-Cat Beauty trios. This one is in Grilled Mango, and this is Cherry Fudge Sunday. I especially love the pops of color in both of these. They are, they just really, really speak to me. So this one, the grilled mango for the yellow and the cherry fudge sundae for that red rusty color. They're so beautiful, super, super pigmented, like crazy pigmented. And they're just a really, really nice formula. So I think I'm gonna definitely incorporate those. I also just got this eyeliner in the mail yesterday from Jouer. It's the liquid liner in Lynx. I saw Kathleen Lights use this and I was like, oh my god. I was making an Amazon order <laughs> and I added it to my cart and before you knew it, I pressed pay. So I'm really, really excited to try it. It's this beautiful olive green color and I don't know, I don't know, I just think it would be fun to like use all these things but I don't know if that's too crazy. But I'm going to start out at least with a transition color so then I have like some sort of beginning point. I've been really rekindling my love with my MAC palette and I'm going to just start off with Kid because that is the most neutral and I'm using my Beauty Junkies Pro Tapered Blending Brush which you guys know I love the Beauty Junkies um, buffing brush. And they sent me a few more brushes to try out and this one I think that this is a really nice blending brush like it's not really unique but it's just as good as like a Sigma or like really anything else and it's a lot less expensive so I do have a coupon code for that down in my description bar um so this is just a good starting point because I literally have no idea what I'm doing so <laughs> what else is new um I also have the color Bitten and Cocoa Bear from Makeup Geek because these really, really, why am I trying to do that? These really speak to me as well. So I might use those, but we shall see. So 
I think I want to just start out wait what do I want to do okay I'm gonna start out with the yellow from the grilled mango all over my lid and I really like the Sonia Kashuk um, synthetic concealer brush for bright colors like this or any colors that you really want to show up and if this doesn't work then use your finger because it, your finger is literally your best tool honestly but sometimes you just don't want to get your hands messy and that is typically my standpoint on it and this shirt has a little bit of like a mustardy color so I think that this will be a nice like accent to it and I don't typically I do more color like in day-to-day -day life than I ever used to but I don't really do like a lot of colors all at once Okay, then I'm gonna take the red from the Cherry Fudge Sunday, and you can buy these at Ulta. I bought them on Ulta's website because I hate going to Ulta. It's not convenient to where I live. The employees suck. Everything's always touched, like opened and touched, and it's just, I've had such good customer service on their website that I would just rather keep shopping online and enjoying Ulta than going into the store and hating Ulta because I love their points programs. I love their like gifts with purchase. Pretty much everything about Ulta is great online and then when I step into my store it's like all hell breaks loose. It's awful. But I'm so excited about all of the Black Friday sales. So tomorrow my sister and I, we have made it our own little tradition to leave our parents at home and go Black Friday shopping like at the mall. We go to like Best Buy and Target and literally wherever we want to go, we go there. And it is so much fun. It's We do it in a really relaxing way. Like we don't like make ourselves wake up really early or anything. We just go when we... I usually have to coax her out of bed, but like when I naturally wake up, which is like nine-ish about, uh, um, then we go out to the mall and stuff and we listen to our Christmas CDs and this year it'll be our Pentatonics Christmas CD. In the past it's been Reliant K, we love their Christmas CD. And it's just such a great t tradition and we like, I don't know, I don't have a ton of things that I want to buy this year, like some years I've gone absolutely insane and bought like a Christmas tree for my apartment when I was in college and it's just really fun to go out with Rachel, just us, because we don't do a lot of things just us anymore. Um, so that's our little tradition and I am vlogging this week, so you guys will see a little bit of that when I post my vlog, so I'm just really excited about that. Okay, so what do I want to make crease? Let's see what looks better. So this is Cocoa Bear by Makeup Geek, and this is Bitten. I think Cocoa Bear goes with it better. Bitten also looks good, but I think it would, like, I don't know, maybe it could be, like, a gradient. Whoa, a gradient. Let's try to do a gradient. Okay, this is my Louise Young LY38B. I'm going out with Cocoa Bear right in my crease and I definitely am gonna have to go back over the J-Cat Beauty shades because I can already tell they're kind of getting blended away. That's the one bad thing with doing like metallic shades on your lid first before you do your crease shades. They, at least for me, they typically get blended away when you're doing your crease so that like annoys me but at least we have like an idea of what we're doing okay do i want to add this will this be too much i'll just add a little bit of bitten right into my outer corner and let's see how that goes oh, that's pretty it's not like as ready purple when mixed with the cocoa bear i love bitten just by itself it's so pretty and it's such a unique color oh it's so pretty okay I'm gonna go back in with the red 
What if I wet my brush a little bit with my MAC Fix Plus? I really think that you could, like if you have a setting spray, you could just use that. Or like even water. Like when I was not really into makeup, I would just use water. And I think that that worked just as well. And look how intense it looks when you do that. Oh, it's like on fire. It is so nice. It is so beautiful. Oh, that is so good. Okay. So what are your Thanksgiving traditions? I, oh God, I'll clean that up. I love hearing other people, like what other people do because we definitely have, we're like definitely set in our ways and we do a very specific thing every single year and I love knowing exactly what to expect on Thanksgiving weekend. It's just awesome. And this year, oh, how nice is it to have a four day weekend off of work? Like this is incredible, you guys. This is my first year having like a real like adult job. And so, we have off today and for Black Friday, which is like not really heard of, but I work at such a small company, I think they like give off extra holidays that most people don't get off, which I am not complaining. And it's just so cool. I don't have to worry about being like scheduled or like having to work Black Friday or anything. So I really love it. Oh my God, this eye shadow. Okay, so what I was saying was let me know your thanksgiving traditions or is boxing day around this time in canada or oh, i don't really know a lot of things about other cultures i'll be honest but if you have like a holiday around this time in your country let me know what you guys like to do and let me know what you like to eat oh my god we have the best menu for thanksgiving thanksgiving dinner is my absolute number one favorite meal in the entire world like literally if i could have it every single day it would ruin the like <laughs> the charm of it but i would still be really happy like it's the best meal ever we do turkey ham stuffing of course we also do um what is it called like dressing my grandparents make it and it's i don't chestnut filling that's what it's called they do chestnut filling I don't really love it, but it's definitely a tradition for them to bring it. I asked my mom to do the sweet potatoes and a casserole dish with um, mini marshmallows on top. Oh my god! When you bake it and the marshmallows get like crispy, oh my god, that is like the best. And what else do we do? Like pumpkin pie and stuff. I'm not really a big fan of pumpkin pie. So we have like apple pie and I like that okay. But pretty much I'm never hungry for dessert, so it's fine. Whatever they have. I just like watch them eat it or something and okay I have to like actually get my makeup done but I love that when you wet those shadows they like come to life that is incredible so I really want a long wearing makeup so let's see let's do my perfection lumiere by Chanel Let's use this today because even though I love the lingerie de Poe, this needs to look good all day and that just doesn't look great all day. So I haven't used this in a while, so I kind of forget how much you need, but I'm going to use my beauty blender because my skin has been looking really, really dehydrated and I'm, I drink so much water. Like I am a water fanatic, but... I don't know if it's like with the change in what the heck and the change in the seasons or like just working in an office like all week I, I just don't know what the deal is but like la last night I was touching up my makeup before I went out with my friends and I was like ew what is wrong with my face and it was like all like dry and like patchy like my skin had like drank up my foundation because it needed moisture so badly so i like really um focused on exfoliating and hydrating last night and this morning like with my skincare so and i'm gonna like try to drink even more water even though i feel like i drink 
so much water i guess i could be drinking more so if you guys have any like tips on i don't know just not having such dry ass skin because it's not like it looks i mean it did look dry last night but just because of my makeup when i don't have any makeup on it doesn't look dry it's like when I have product on top of it and it starts to like get patchy and stuff, it looks like so jaggy, jaggedy. I don't know. It like just looks bad. So let me know what your tips are because I just really, my skin needs help. So I'm going to put on my lip balm because my lips are dry as the Sahara. And okay, so what am I going to do on my cheeks? Let's be like simple. Let's do my brows first because they're looking shabby. So let's see where I move some stuff around so I like don't know where anything is. NYX brow pencil in ash brown. This is like so boring because you guys see me do this like every day. And surprise, surprise, I'm not going to put in the Anastasia brow gel today just because I don't want to. Um, oh yeah, what about this? Will that look good? Will that mess everything up? Um, let me sit on that for a little bit. For blush, I'm just going to do um, Tarte Exposed because I really like it. And for highlighter, I want to stick with like the warm tones. So I'm going to do Champagne Pop because it's more of a warm highlight than Moonstone is. So I love the Sephora Pro Contour 79 brush and I like bring my highlight too far in I've been noticing so I'm going to try to just keep it back there. It's like so against my willpower to just stop right there. Like I want to have my whole face just like glistening except I don't. But uh, for some reason, I just, like, do it naturally. Okay. That is so pretty. Just blend that shit. Okay. And then... For Tarte Exposed. I really love this. I don't know why it took me so long to get it. But if you have been wanting it, and for some reason you just haven't been ever buying it, you should get it because it's really pretty and it's just like the perfect neutral to go with anything like it doesn't it doesn't make your look like so crazy or anything but it adds color to your skin I want to add a little bit of rose bronze by Chanel because I just love this color Ooh, and I haven't used it in a while I think it would go well with the tones of this this is pretty pigmented so be careful it just has this glow to it oh it's so pretty i'm just kind of like stamping it let's see just want to blend it out a little bit okay oh crap i didn't do concealer oh whatever i'll live somehow i'll survive um Okay, I think I'm just going to do, I really want to use this, but I don't want it to mess everything up. You and me got a whole lot of history. I watched One Direction on Jimmy Kimmel last night, and it was awesome. They perform history and perfect, and I thought that they never, I would never see them perform those songs, so... It was really fun. So I am going to do this Jouer liner in Lynx. And I don't think that it'll ruin it at all. But we'll see. I think it's like adding the foliage color. And it's really, it's just so pretty. It's like so cold. Like the liner is so cold because it's freezing in my room <laughs> so it's like it's like viscous isn't that I think that's the right word like it's thick 
Oh, that is gorgeous. It is so pigmented. Can you see it? Oh, is it on? I thought that I wasn't recording. Oh my God, I would have died, you guys. <laughs> Thank God. I just have that bad feeling sometimes. Okay, let's try not to mess up on this eye. I have to use my right hand, even though, I mean, I'm right-handed, but even if I'm doing my left eye, I have to use my right hand. Yeah, I'm not ambidextrous. So stop spreading those rumors. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Some of the things that come out of my mouth, it doesn't make sense. But so what else is there about Thanksgiving to talk about? Other than it being perfect and amazing. Well, the Macy's Day Parade is on right now. Last year, Pentatonix performed right at the end, right before Santa. And that was incredible. Like, I felt so proud of them and happy for them. Because that's a big deal. To perform right before, like, that's the finale of the entire parade. And for them to, I effed that up so bad for them to perform right at the end introducing santa that is like such a big deal and i hope that they get to do that again this year because they like they're in macy's commercials so i'm thinking that they're gonna i don't know just intuitively you would think that they would be an important role again this year for macy's but could be wrong I'm not sure and I don't know what time it goes till so I might have even missed it <laughs> clearly it's not that important to me um so I'm just gonna do like a little bit under my lash line oh god the only thing with these is that it's hard to open and then I like smear my hand on them so I'm just gonna take a little bit of the red a little little bit and put this oh my god you have to be so careful you guys it's so pigmented and I'm using a Sigma pencil brush e30 just a little bit okay just blend that a little bit okay I never put shadow under my lash line so that's why I'm like extra nervous right now Okay, I'm gonna add mascara and then see if my eyes need anything else. That's like my trick. Once you add mascara, then you can easily tell what else your eye makeup needs, at least for me. I like, I always have like a vision and this is really like suiting my vision right now. It's like everything. Okay, so for any of you guys who are obsessed with Thanksgiving, um, there's this show on discovery channel or science channel or some sort of channel like that that is called pumpkin chunkin and it is my favorite show to watch on thanksgiving because like i'm not into football i think that it's dumb that they like those are people too and they want to celebrate thanksgiving but they're being like forced to play a stupid sport <laughs> on thanksgiving when they could be eating awesome food and being with their family so i'm not a big fan of football in general but especially on thanksgiving i think that it's dumb so i really like to when i can commandeer the tv away from all the guys in my family I like to watch the show Pumpkin Chunkin and it is a contest of like people I'm not gonna say like engineers because I don't know what they are like in real life but they like manufacture and engineer giant pumpkin catapults to like see if they can be the catapult that chunks the pumpkin farthest it sounds like so lame and so boring but it is like my favorite show ever and they it's just really cool so i hope that they have it again this year um i always expect them to have it so 
I hope that I'm not disappointed, but, um, yeah, it's just the best show ever, and it's not, like, football or anything, so I really, really like it. Okay, so I actually think that that looks fine just without anything. For lips, um, I don't really know. I'll probably just put something on that's in my purse that's really easy because I'm gonna be, like, eating so much that it really doesn't matter. I don't want, like, a fussy lip. And everything that I have here is, like, not what I'm going for. So I'll probably just do, like, nourishing nude or, like, something like that. Oh, there's my car. I was like, why are they driving so slow? My dad took my car to the store. Anyway, um, oh, what if I do just a touch of champagne pop just in my inner corner as if I need any more eyeshadow? Oh, that actually makes it look really awesome. Because it's like that peachy tone. Oh, that is so beautiful. Okay. And like I said, I'm wearing this shirt. I'm so excited. I can't wait for everyone to come over. And I hope that you all have a, like, a thankful Thanksgiving. Well, I hope that you're thankful today and all the time. But I really hope that you have a great Thanksgiving with your family and your friends and whoever you celebrate it with. I just really hope that you have an awesome day and really enjoy your time off that I hope you have. And for any of you guys working retail this year, I... I totally understand and I I know that you guys can get through it and just I don't know it's a difficult situation to be in and I hate that stores are opening earlier and earlier every year on Thanksgiving I think that that's really I just really don't think that that's very cool but um, I just hope that you all have a blessed and amazing Thanksgiving no matter what you're doing today. So thank you guys so much for watching and spending some time with me and I will see you guys really soon. Bye!